Hi Shoebox friends, this is Denise with D. Rogers. Welcome back to my channel where I share everything related to Operation Christmas Child. Today I have an unboxing for a boy, five to nine, and it's a dinosaur theme. I couldn't believe that I haven't shared any dinosaur boxes with you. So I packed five dinosaur boxes this year, two for five to nine and three to, uh, for two to four. And they're all really pretty cute and fun. So let's take a look at what I packed for this roaring dinosaur box for a boy five to nine. Okay, so this is my dinosaur themed shoe box for a boy age five to nine. As you can see, it's empty. <laughs> so once again, I'm gonna try to do this on camera for you and box it up. And this is probably gonna be hard, but let's give it a try. I do think these are helpful. So the first thing I put on the bottom are all the flat items. He has some lenticulars, and I've positioned the camera a little bit differently, hopefully so you can see the inside of the box better. Um, these are from Valentine's Day a while ago, where, where it shows the dinosaur, and then when you move it slightly, it shows his bones. So those are fun, we're gonna put those on the bottom. He has a Valentine game tablet from Walmart. That goes on the bottom. Uh, I've got some of these scratch-off Valentines that are dinosaurs with the wooden sticks. That's pretty flat. I kept it in this plastic because this black stuff can get on things. So we're gonna put that at the bottom. That's nice and flat. His card is a dinosaur-themed card that I got from Aldi after Valentine's Day for 10 cents with our photo and our letter on the inside. That's very flat. So that's going on the bottom too. Uh, next, I'm going to put this book in there. This is a dot to dot dinosaur book. I don't remember where I got this from, probably the Dollar Tree. But, um, oh I know, I got it from Ollie's. It was 69 cents. Ollie's is a discount store. We have them in Maryland. And um, they have lots of good coloring books, uh, dot to dot, adult coloring books at pretty good prices. So this is a dinosaur uh, letter and dot to dot uh, numbers coloring book. So I think that's fun for a dinosaur box. We'll put that at the bottom. Uh, next item I think, oh I put in these pictures. Let's see if that's, actually I'll put that on the side. I think the next item will be this. So this is called Dino World Glow Fossils. These are dinosaurs you put together and they glow. I left it in the packaging in order for him to understand exactly what this is. And on the back it shows you the pictures, the names of the dinosaurs. I think that's pretty cool and pretty fun for a boy age five to nine. So that's gonna go on the bottom too because that's very flat. This is his backpack. I got this from uh, Walmart, or not Walmart, Amazon. It has a reflector strip and it's a pull tie at the top. So we're gonna fold that up pretty nicely and put that on the bottom also. Actually, I'm gonna tuck all those little ties underneath. There we go. Uh, okay. Let's see, he has a dinosaur sticker book. This is a 250 sticker book plus from Dollar Tree. And it's mostly dinosaurs. I love these books, I just gave him the whole book. It's mostly dinosaurs, but there's also some robots, some transportation, and just some fun stickers in there for a boy this age. I also tucked in there some additional dinosaur stickers. And these are Make-A-Face Dinosaurs. I get these on Amazon, I love them. They're just really fun. So I gave him some of those. And I'm gonna slide those in the front of this booklet. Just like that. And we're gonna sneak that, actually I'm gonna sneak that a little bit further down. That works. Because of these little sticks made a little bit of a bump, I may try to put them on the side. 
Okay, his next item I think shall be, uh, what did I do next? His shirt maybe. All right, so I got him this really cool shirt from the children's place. This is a size 1012. And it's a, um, gosh, I can't remember the name of this dinosaur. Help me out here. Um, it's got the horn on the front. Brontosaurus, maybe? Yeah, he, he looks like he's a DJ. Spinning tunes. He's got glasses on and headphones. Really funny, really cute. And I think this glows in the dark. And I got that on clearance from the children's place. So I'm going to fold that up nicely. And don't have as much space here with the camera up so close but I'm gonna try to fold it up to the shape of my shoe box if that makes sense and let's see if I want to fold it one more time yeah I'm gonna fold it one more time and we're gonna put that right there nice and flat so you see that Okay, the next item is he has a pair of underwear. I'm tuck that on the side over here where that space is available. And a pair of Reebok socks in black. So I'm going to pack that just like that. Nice and flat. Um, okay, the next item I think will be his hygiene. So I have a hygiene bag for him, and in it I have a, a washcloth from the Dollar Tree, one of those magic towels with a dinosaur. He has some chapstick, some soap, nail clippers, and nail files, all in a soap saver bag. And then I also made a washcloth for him. Uh, I made washcloths for all the dinosaur boxes. Has this fun little dinosaur print and a bright green on the back. So I'm going to fold that up so it fits nicely into my hygiene bag. So that will go nicely right there. Okay, I am actually going to show you his pencil case, I think. Let's see. I can slide his comb in there. There's a comb. I can slide his toothbrush in it with a cap in the back. He has a um, emergency whistle that can go in a nook and cranny there. All right, let's look at his school supplies. Uh, so he has this pencil bag with dinosaurs on it. I got this from Walmart last year and I've attached this um, little lanyard here with a carabiner keychain with a cross. Those were from Oriental Trading. And in his school bag, he has a green Sharpie, uh, a yellow highlighter. He has some pens. Let's throw those all in there. A pair of yellow scissors. A Wexford pink eraser. A sharpener, actually three sharpeners. A metal one, one from Walmart, and one from Oriental Trading. So he's in good shape for sharpeners. Let's put all of his pencils. So he has a variety, a nice variety, some Ticonderoga, some dinosaur pencils, a Scooby-Doo pencil. Just a nice variety for him. Let's tuck those in there. Let's see if I can get those to fit a little bit better the other direction. Yep, that works better. I gave him a click pen, that's a dinosaur pen. I think I got that at Dollar Tree. And he has these push pencils that are, I think they're Jurassic World push pencils. I think those are also from Dollar Tree. He has a couple of erasers, the dinosaur. Of course, they're, they're all dinosaurs. So he has three dinosaur erasers. I gave him one of these fun little dinosaur stampers. That was from Valentine's Day and a glue stick. Actually, I'll leave that out of the pencil pack. He has a dinosaur tracer. Those are from Walmart. And a smaller one. This was from a Valentine. 
and tuck that in there. And then I gave him, two, I don't know why I have two crosses. I'm just going to give him one cross. This is pretty fat, so I'm not sure if that's going to be the best way to pack it. But we're going to go with it for now. All right, so that's his pencil case. We're going to tuck that right there. The next item are some dinosaur cards. This is a package from, I either got it from Target or Dollar Tree. And they're all different types of dinosaurs. And then on the back, it talks about their, um, their characters, the pronunciations, uh, all those types of things. And they're really pretty. The pictures are really, even if you can't read the, the wording, the pictures are really cool. And what I did here is actually I should have put this on the bottom, but since I didn't, we're going to slide it on the side of the box. I took these cards and I divided them up and I stuck them on the sides of the box all around just to make them fit easily. I'm not going to put him in the back because that's where I'm going to put his that's where I'm going to put his coloring books and composition book. Okay, so that's all of his cards. He has some colored pencils from Crazy Art. We're going to stick that right there for now. I'm not sure if that will be its permanent home, but for now. And we're going to take these off and show you his shorts. I have a pair of shorts that I got from Dollar General on clearance. This is a size 810. They have the stretch at the top and a pull tie and it's green on the side. So these are pretty cool. I think I like these. So we're going to try to fold those up nicely. And and okay we're just going to keep trying i think we'll put the bulk of those shorts on this end no nope, i don't like that either let's fold it over to make it a little bit thinner okay that i like so I wanted the bulk end to be over here because there was a little more room over here. Okay, so that's good so far. Let's go for his, oh, I forgot to put this at the bottom, but that's okay. Uh, okay, so he has a jumbo coloring activity book, Jurassic World. I think these are great for five to nine. Can't remember where I got it from, but the pictures are good. Then he has a grab and go book. Not sure where I got it, but I love it. It's got um, scenery, huge stickers. Um, they have like pic great pictures in here. Connect the dots, tic-tac-toe. I don't know, I think it's really cool. Aren't those stickers awesome? And then the last thing he has is a composition book. I think I got this at Big Lots on clearance recently. And this is 70 Sheets uh, Wide World. All right, so we're gonna push all of these in the back end of the box, just like that, so that they will bend over like that. All right, so let's see what's next. I made him this little drawstring bag with, that has dinosaurs on it. And actually, I, I took most of everything out of here that I had in here. But let's see if I can pull what's left. These are um, Lego sets, building sets from the Dollar Tree. And I took off the packaging, and I'm going to include it in the box for him. And each little box had a pretty cool scenery, so I kept that as well. And it shows him how to build each dinosaur. So I put that in this bag along with the instructions. I gave him a couple little dinosaurs, some fun little dinosaurs to play with. So I'm going to put this in his dinosaur bag. 
And then he had two cars. He has this cool, looks like a Triceratops. And then this one is, I think, a Stegosaurus car. Very cool. And I put those in the baggie too. And then I also put his cross from Hobby Lobby in the baggie and pulled it tight. And I laid it right there. We're going to take those directions and those pictures and put it on the side of the box. That works. He has a package of crayons from the Dollar Tree. Kind of slid that in on the side. A glue stick that goes in that little hole there. I got a ruler for him from Walmart. That's one of those roll up rulers. Has dinosaurs, so we're going to tuck that in right there. Oh gosh, we're coming down to the wire. Okay, this is a paddle ball with a dinosaur on it. Looks like a T Rex and a um, uh, Triceratops on the other side. We will lay that on top and tuck the ball just a little bit to the side. He has a pair of socks. These were from Target with the little dinosaur bones on the top. Let's see how I can fit those. That goes okay there. He has a pencil with a dinosaur eraser on the top. He has a Steffi. This is a dinosaur Steffi that I got from Dollar General. These are really cute. I think there's some room over here to smush him in place. And the final two items, oh gosh, I hope I can fit these. These are really cool. These are pullback dinosaurs. Um, these are on Amazon. I got them on a, uh, like one of those quick deals. So we're going to put those. Yep, there's a spot right there. So I don't think I packed it exactly the way that it looked in the beginning, but pretty close. And the books fold over pretty easily. Let's see, does everything fit? good enough yeah that's pretty good and just put a rubber band on it and that one's good to go okay so I'm gonna also show you um, probably just laid out the items in my second dinosaur box okay this is my second box for a boy age 5 to 9 dinosaur theme most of the items are the same. He does have this color form sticker set that's different. He has a little bit different composition book. His sticker book is one of those Jurassic World sticker books from the Dollar Tree. Um, he has a Let's Draw Dinosaurs. Coloring book is just a little bit different. I gave him one of those lenticular journals from the Dollar Tree. He has two of the dinosaur pullback cars. Uh, the hygiene items are the same, a pair of socks, the cards, the game tablet. All of his school supplies were the same. His backpack is blue. His shirt and shorts were just a little bit different, a pair of underwear. I also gave him the Dino World Glow Fossils. I gave him two of the building dinosaur sets from the Dollar Tree. He has those Make-A-Face dinosaur stickers. And his little bag of goodies had some dice, some dinosaur erasers, mini erasers, a little slinky, two cars, actually three cars, and a emergency whistle. He also has the slap ruler, and everything else was pretty much the same as the other box. So that completes my unboxing for two uh, five to nine year old dinosaur themed shoe boxes. I hope it encourages you and inspires you in your shoebox packing. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to stop by and watch my channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. God bless you and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.